up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole I hope you had a great week today we are doing a baking tutorial because if you've been following next level chef last week's episode was a little rough Angela on our team unfortunately got eliminated last episode which means Zach and I are the only two teammates remaining on team blaze and we got sent back down to the basement for the first time ever on next level chef you'll all be cooking in teams. Each team will have 30 minutes to create a beautiful three-course meal. Wow. <laughs> wow. One appetizer, one entree, and one dessert. 30 minutes to make a three-course meal. That is not a lot of time, and we have one less chef than everybody else. Please pray for us. When we walked into the great room at the beginning of the episode and Chef Ramsay said that we had to make a three course meal in 30 minutes, we both looked at each other and we're like, there's no way. Team Blaze, because there's only two of you, you get to drop a course. Wow. Okay. No, you don't. I'm only joking. Next level chef, baby. Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> and so honestly, my spirits were lifted when he said that because we were the only team that had two people, we got to drop a course. I'm like, well, that makes sense. Until he said, just kidding. The amount of stress I went through on this show. So Zach and I are in the basement. We have to do an appetizer, entree, and dessert with two people in 30 minutes. Going into this challenge, I really wanted to be in charge of desserts because that is where I feel most confident. But the concept I had in mind required me grabbing chocolate off the platform. And I knew being in the basement, there was a very low chance I would get chocolate because someone on the other two levels would likely grab it before me. And so literally y'all, when Zach and I got down into the basement, he gave me a recipe for his olive oil cake. And I memorized it on the spot because I needed to have a backup in case I didn't grab what I needed on the platform. Yeah, Whipped what's cream. your, do you have your recipe for the olive oil cake? Is that something that I can memorize quickly? One cup of olive oil. One, okay. Two eggs. Three. Two cups flour, equal parts, one teaspoon baking powder. I'm taking charge on the dessert. Zach is gonna work on our appetizer and entree. Salt and a little bit of milk. I've never had olive oil cake, but I'm gonna bake it today and it's gonna be great. I'm so glad I did that because there was nothing for desserts but fruit on the platform. So I grabbed a bunch of those because really all the main ingredients in this olive oil cake recipe were available to me in the stable pantry that I would have access to regardless of what came down on the platform. So it really was the perfect recipe to do for this challenge. So that's what we're gonna make today. I'm gonna stop talking and get started on the cake and I'll share more stories as we go through this baking tutorial. If you're excited to learn about how to make this cake, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button because I post new videos on this channel every single weekend. And I also post YouTube shorts and I don't want you to miss any of them. All right, let's go. Okay, starting with our wet ingredients, we're gonna use a big mixing bowl. The great thing about this recipe is you really don't need any fancy equipment. You can do it all in a bowl. We're gonna start with one cup of brown sugar and one cup of olive oil. So if you watch the episode, we only had 30 minutes for this challenge, which sometimes cakes take 30 minutes to bake. And so with the time it took to run to the platform, assemble the batter, and then get the cake in the oven, it probably had maybe 20 minutes. And y'all down in the basement, we literally, they gave us one cake pan. There was no other options. I had one circular cake pan to choose from. I was trying to find something smaller and I couldn't find anything. And again, if you saw the episode, my cake didn't bake. Shoot, it's not cooked. It's no, not none cooked. Of it's, cooked. it's not cooked. You know what, you could do kind of a rustic tear, yeah? Take out sections that is cooked. Okay. Anything that's cooked, the bottom pieces, anything that's brown and lovely right there. More bread pudding, it's not exactly what we wanted, but we gotta make it happen. There were four minutes left until the platform arrived, and I pulled my cake from the oven, and it's just straight batter. Like, I knew in that moment there was no way this cake was going to be done. And at that point, there's nothing else you can do, because if I don't plate a dessert, I'm done. My heart sunk when I took that cake out of the oven. And then Chef Blaze literally told me to start ripping it up. He was like, take the pieces out that are cooked, get them in a skillet, we'll throw it in with some butter, get them nice and toasty and crispy, and we'll just pivot our concept to being more of a deconstructed cake crumble with different fruit elements on the side. Obviously not super ideal. I really wanted to serve a whole slice of cake, but again, there was nothing I could do. In that moment, I literally just panicked. I don't even remember what happened because I feel like I just blacked out. I have never felt more frantic in my whole life trying to construct that plate because I had my macerated blueberries, I had the strawberries, I had the mint leaves, I had the lemon curd, and then just this like pile of cake crumble. This is awful. This is literally the worst day of my life. And I just did not feel good about putting that on the platform. And on top of that, I'm trying to help Zach and make sure that our appetizer and entree are also beautiful and perfect and worthy of being tasted by Chef Gordon Ramsay. So all that to say, I was really stressed. And then it showed this part. When I finally put my plate on the platform, I just cried. I literally just cried. <sighs> Chef Blaze and Zach gave me a hug and I, I was so sad. Because I knew in that moment, the only way to guarantee my immunity is if we win top dish. Because if we don't, 
I'm going to elimination. There's only two people left on our team. And one, they're not gonna send Zach. He's amazing. But two, even if they did by some random occurrence of events, I would still go because he still has an immunity pin and he would send me. So things were just not looking good for me and I'd fully prepared myself and expected for this episode to be my last. I just thought there is no way we can win best dish given the dessert I just put on this platform. The whole season I had looked forward to baking. I was really hoping we would get some form of a baking challenge because that's like the one area I felt confident in and honestly felt like I had a leg up against the other contestants. And I kept thinking, man, if I just get a chance to bake and do what I'm good at, that could go really well for me. And so I was so devastated that the one chance I did get to bake, it went so horribly wrong. It had nothing to do with the fact that I'm a bad baker. It literally had everything to do with the fact that time got the best of us and we did not have enough time to let the cake bake. And there's literally nothing I can do about that. So the whole thing was just so discouraging. And I got back on that elevator feeling so defeated. And again, literally thought that this was gonna be my last episode. Heading to dessert. This is a brown butter and olive oil crumble. And we say crumbled, it, it literally is crumbled. Did something happen here? The oven's down there, the timing, we had a larger cake. Right. So we had to just sort of turn it into a crumble at the end just so we could get, you know, a uh, tasty product on the plate. The lemon curd, it's a bit sharp. And how are we elevating this and saying, I, this is next level chef on a plate? I will say in the basement, there's only two people sure. and three dishes. So the communication was fast and furious. Seriously impressed, honestly. I wanted more of that olive oil cake. Mm. And unfortunately, I got most of what was sort of dry, the crust. I just wanted like a whipped cream or something. It just was missing an element yeah. to bring it together. I might be going to Richard, Naisha, and myself really do believe that one menu stood out. The winning menu today, the farm to table menu from the basement. Yes! Oh my God. So that's why I dropped to the floor and you see me cry when they call us for best dish because I was already planning my elimination exit speech and then it went completely the opposite direction and we were headed to the winner's lounge. What a doozy. I'm adding in some lemon zest right now. This really brightens up the cake. So anyhow, that's a little backstory on this olive oil cake. With Zach's permission, I am making his recipe to today because I really need to redeem myself. And I need to show you that this cake actually is amazing and it does work. And plus it's so easy, so you can totally make this at home. I've linked the recipe down in the description box below. As always, if you're new to this channel, I have all my recipes on my website, nicolanomad.com if you're ever looking for anything. Now for our dry ingredients in a separate bowl, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon baking powder, and just a little pinch of salt. Let me give this a quick whisk. They also didn't air this, but Chef Blaze was helping me make homemade whipped cream as I was making my cake like we really were shorthanded doing three courses in 30 minutes with just two people was so hard and so chef blaze really did step in and help zach and i with the things that he could and one of those was like whipping some heavy cream for me and i put it in the fridge because i wanted it to be cold but i literally told myself as i did it don't forget about the whipped cream my plan was to have the cake crumbles in the middle with the strawberries the macerated blueberries the lemon curd mint leaves and like a little dollop of whipped cream once my cake didn't bake and i just went into that panic frenzy mode i literally lost all ability to think or function like a normal human being and I left the whipped cream in the refrigerator and so that's why when they tasted it they said I feel like it's missing an element of like a whipped cream I straight up just forgot yay me another thing that they didn't air that I was kind of bummed about was during the tasting first thing chef Ramsey said after he acknowledged the crumble and, and said something about the fact that it looked like something happened he tasted it and he said I feel like you're teasing me. The flavors are actually really good. He's like, I just want more of it. He's like, I feel like you're just teasing me with like a little crumble on this plate and I want a whole slice. And they didn't air that, but y'all, he liked the cake. Which is what I'm saying, I'm not a bad baker. Just didn't work out for me that time. Alrighty, now time to go into our pan. I've just cut a little circle of parchment paper and I'm putting it in the bottom of this cake pan so that it comes out nice and easy. I think just to be safe, I'm gonna spray this a little bit too. Just so everything comes out good. <gasps> Comment down below if you've been watching the show and what your favorite episode is so far. I'm super curious to hear. Just gonna get this in our pan. Okay, now this is gonna go into the oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your cake pan size. You just wanna watch it. As soon as the toothpick comes out clean, she's good to go. All right, our little olive oil cake is out of the oven. I ended up changing it to a half sheet pan because I kind of got PTSD from the episode and using that circle pan. And it actually turned out really great. Nice and golden brown and beautiful. I've got my little piece out here. Today, I think I'm just gonna use strawberries as decor, little plating element. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Ooey gooey butter cake. I think we need to do that as a tutorial sometime soon because that is one of my favorite desserts. Now we're not gonna forget the whipped cream this time. Oh, this looks so Oh, good, you guys. Bon appetit. 
All right, now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's taste this cake as it is properly baked. Put a little whipped cream on there. Oh my gosh. Dang it! This makes me even more sad that the mentors didn't get a taste of the fully baked, correct presentation of this cake because wow. Oh, this is so good. It's so moist and light and fresh. The citrus, oh wow. I forgot to show this part in the video, but you also add a cup of milk into this batter and that's what keeps it really moist and light and fluffy. Oh my gosh, okay, wow. Well, you need to try this and let me know what you think. Again, the recipe is down in the description box below. I hope you loved this tutorial, learning how to make this olive oil cake and hearing some behind the scenes stories of the episode. Comment down below, let me know if you've been watching and what episode so far has been your favorite. Hey, if this video made you smile and you enjoyed watching it, it would mean so much to me if you gave it a big thumbs up. And before you go, if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button because I want you to be a part of the best family ever. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye.